So quite a bit of things happened yesterday for Ready or Not, and I thought that I would take the time to go over them and tell you what I thought. So in the beginning, I thought that I was getting trolled, because when 6 o'clock came around, the trailer wasn't there. 6, it is 6. Don't see it. Not see it. Somebody forgot to take the timer. That was probably the most embarrassing thing from my channel, but I quickly found out that it was on YouTube's end. Okay, so it's right here. I had so many people in the chat that were like messaging me like this is this is this is the most funniest thing ever. There was also YouTubers that were contacting me and say this is probably the most memeiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh god, that, that beginning was just so bad. But I eventually got word that the trailer was in fact there. All I had to do was search Void Interactive's name. I saw it, it was right there. But it was just unavailable! What the fuck? I'm over here fumbling around trying to figure out how the fuck to play this thing, but then people told me, use incognito mode, and I was like, how the fuck do I do that? Okay, oh, I got it, I got it. There it was! I finally got to watch it after all this time, and... What did I think? <sighs> Listen, I... It was good for what it was, okay? And I'm definitely not going to knock the developers for what it is, but it's blatantly obvious to me that the trailer wasn't made for the people who have been following the game closely and waiting patiently for all this time. This trailer was meant to bring more people into the group, rather than just showing off raw gameplay. It's an explanation, so to speak. And it... it did its job. The people who didn't follow the game before now are excited and... I'm happy for them, but if you really want my personal take on this trailer for me, then I gotta say that it was pretty lukewarm. But that's not to say that the trailer didn't have anything. It's a fantastic representation of where they're at because they had the balls to show off bugs in the trailer and show things that looked a little wonky. It seemed like the OG community definitely had a fun time picking this trailer apart, pointing out all of its flaws. I mean, they had to go through multiple people to get this trailer approved, so I don't think that that's a fault on Void's side. I think it was planned. Overall, I thought that the trailer was pretty good, and I'm definitely going to do a full analysis in the near future, but I just have to point out, the most disappointing thing about the trailer was probably finding out that the game isn't coming out until Q4 of 2020. Keep in mind that this isn't a release date, so it could go into 2020. 21 which now that's kind of a blow to the og community that's been waiting since the reveal trailer and also the swap 4 community that's been waiting for nearly 14 15 years something like that but i am willing to wait because it does look like a really good game <laughs> Honestly, I thought that that was the only thing that we were going to get today, but they came out with another trailer that was the Supporter Edition, and man, I gotta say that the Supporter Edition just looked a lot better to me. Maybe because it was more of what I wanted to see. This one little clip felt way more powerful to me than the entire 8 minute trailer. And I have to wonder if that's what they were trying to go for. Making the OG gamers trying to get the supporter edition. I'm really glad that this trailer exists because it speaks volumes to the player that it's not all sunshine and rainbows. It just makes me appreciate the game more. Eventually I went over to the website and I saw the prices of both the standard and supporter edition and this was my exact reaction. $120?! Holy hell! That's expensive! Oh, but the standard seems pretty reasonable. But the Supporter Edition has Alpha Access in August of 2019. That's just right around the corner. Uh, but it's kind of expensive. And I'm not even sure how long the Alpha is supposed to last. FBI HRT pack? Uh, that's just cosmetic. 25% discount on the first expansion? I think my question for that would be, how much are the expansion packs? Because if they're like $10 to $15, then... Uh, Maybe. If the expansions are actually expansions and not just a one cosmetic item. What's this? For the first 1,000 pre-orders, you will have to receive an official Ready or Not mouse pad. But I already have an official Ready or Not mouse pad, so I mean... Hmm. But then if we add in a couple of factors, Ready or Not is not going to have microtransactions or loot boxes and is going to be a fully-fledged game. 
<sighs> and I'm completely against pre-orders. <laughs> but I might make an exception, but that price tag is fucking expensive. I'm probably gonna bite the bullet, but I have to wait till my next paycheck. After that, I went offline, and then I went back online to look at the stream that was going on over on Clean's Twitch. There was a lot of content that was said there, and I will definitely get into it more, but I honestly thought that it was pretty boring. I mean, maybe because it was the time of day, but I was just kind of like falling asleep to it. Uh, I tried to listen to as much as I could, but I just, ah, oh, man, I almost dozed off. So I'm definitely gonna need to rewatch that and re-talk about it because I missed a lot of it. It was pretty late when I was actually watching it. But yeah, overall the experience that I had yesterday was pretty just lukewarm for me because I feel like everything that was discussed in the trailer is something that I basically already knew. But those are just my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Tell me down in the comment section below. I had a surprise visit from my family so don't expect any videos this weekend. I will try to get more videos out this coming week and uh, yeah. I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye g-force man says be sure to stop playing video games and go outside once in a while will do buddy thanks for the uh support on patreon triple three says subscribe to pewdiepie i already did I don't, I don't know what you want me to do i could unsubscribe and resubscribe if you want me to do that i want to thank you guys for supporting me you guys are some of the greatest people i have ever known okay bye <laughs>